Okay, we're going to have to stop meeting like this. Hi, it's Keto Granny, and I'm going to recap my day uh, for you. It probably, and what time is it? It's almost 10 o'clock uh, at night, but I'm going to recap my day so that you'll know what I did today. Today is Tuesday, so this morning I got up and I went for a walk. I took my dog for a walk up James Hill. We went on the upper portion of James Hill, and I walked and after that I came back home and then I mopped I mopped my whole place that's a form of exercise <laughs> and so I got my steps up my steps up are going to be at least 13 14,000 today which I'm happy about I ended up getting those 10,000 steps in really early this morning and I had my breakfast I had breakfast about 2 30 was when I broke my fast today and I'm doing OMAD, so I haven't had anything else to eat. I am drinking liquids. Um, right before I go to bed, I'm getting ready to have some sleepy time tea. And I may put just a tiny bit of MCT oil in there, about just a teaspoonful or something like that. Um, I had to go by the store, so I got a few groceries, and I'm going to share with you what I got. So I'm going to do a quick grocery haul and this this these items came from Walmart so this grocery haul is from Walmart a local Walmart Walmart store so first I'm gonna start with my almond flour I use almond flour a lot in my baking um, I use it to make the, my cookies my breads I use it far as um, if I am I want to say breading, but if I'm breading um, like my pork chops or chicken or anything to that nature, then I, I can combine this almond flour with um, pork skin rinds and seasonings and it tastes very, very good. There are many, very, very, you can do a lot with almond flour. And I have me some real bacon pieces. And I eat a lot of salad, so that's why I have that, my bacon pieces. Sometimes, sometimes I don't get to, uh, I don't want to say sometimes I don't have time to like fry bacon, but I do like bacon pieces on my salad sometimes. Um, for my fresh produce, I have, so I have my lemons, tomato, and my avocado. And my lemons, I'll use that, um, put, putting this and making lemon water. And I'll, I'll also use it with apple cider vinegar and Himalayan pink salt. And this will help me um, to stay hydrated and also to replenish my electrolytes. I also have a red onion. There's that there. And I have uh, broccoli. And what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to have cauliflower and broccoli. And I'm going to combine this and make a cauliflower mac cheese. And that way I'll have that for at least three or four days this week. I like the cauliflower mac cheese. Um, I had to get my swerve. And I got the granular and I use this um, for baking. I use it um, when I make my mason jar ice cream. So I, I use uh, my swerve in a lot of uh, things that I cook also. Now here's my heavy whipping cream that I got this time. And I use a lot of heavy, heavy whipping cream. I use it to make gravies. I use it uh, in a lot of my cooking for a lot of things. I, I use it in my cauliflower mac cheese. I use it when I'm making cauliflower mashed uh, to replace mashed potatoes. So... Uh, you use a lot of heavy whipping cream and I'm trying to get this where you all can see it and I have my bag of uh, sharp cheddar cheese I use a lot of cheese in my cooking also so as you, as you know I'm going to have um, here's my cauliflower so tomorrow we'll be making a big dish doing a meal prep 
and I'll be making a big dish of the cauliflower mac cheese to have in the refrigerator because I like to have that. I like to eat that. Uh, here are pecans. I probably make some fat bombs for the refrigerator and then I put pecans in my salad and then I also use these these are a healthy uh, good snack pecans are a good snack uh, on the ketogenic diet now I saw where someone was using they took some jello sugar-free jello with some gelatin and they made a really nice decadent uh, keto dessert so I have those two items and I'm going to try to find the recipe that I saw because I want to try to make something out of that. I've never used the sugar-free Jello since I've been doing keto. I didn't even really even associate it as being keto or keto friendly. But after I saw that recipe, then I said, yeah, it is. It's sugar-free and it has no carbs, no protein, no fats in it. And here's my little snack for my ocean halo um, and this is bacon flavor this is a seaweed snack and I use this um, I just try not what I was eating they call it mermaid nachos so I just it's this little the little seaweed uh, snack and then I put ham salad or either tuna salad on it and I can uh, put uh, what is it, jalapeno peppers on top of that and then just eat it and I just kind of hold it and roll it if I need to and, and eat it very very good snack very very easy keto friendly snack and here are my strawberries I got the ham my strawberries nice best if you can get organic strawberries but I did not get organic strawberries today because I wanted to get some other items and I had to stretch my budget so I have my my mushrooms and I get the slice for them because they're easier to work with and easier to cook. Um, here's my cream cheese. And I got a two pack of the cream cheese. I'm going to make a cream cheesecake uh, tomorrow. And have that in the refrigerator also. As you can see, I like, uh, I, uh, what I, say? I don't have a sweet tooth. But if I do want to have something sweet, I like to have it readily available in the refrigerator. And here are my eggs and I got a 36 count of eggs and no they're not our organic or, or yeah not organic and they're not from grass fed free running around hens. normally I try to get the free uh, cage free um, eggs so that's some of the items that I picked up uh, from my quick grocery haul this evening because I'm gonna do a, a meal prep tomorrow and I will let you see as I do my meal prep and let you know what I'm going to prep uh, for, you know, for my meals later on this week. So it is 10 o'clock exactly. So I'm getting ready to have my tea and get ready to go to bed for tonight. I got to get my autophagy on. This is Keto Granny saying, I hope that you enjoy this video. And if you would please hit that little red box down there uh, and subscribe to my channel and please give me a, a thumbs up and a like and and if you have any questions if you comment then i will reply but if you give me a bunch of likes and i can get my videos out and youtube knows that people want to see the videos that i uh, upload so if you would please subscribe like share and comment this is Keto Granny saying, have a nice evening, a nice night.